Hey folks, welcome to the channel. My name is Watto and I wander about. That's Kim. She wanders about. Say hello. Hello. Hello Kim. We are in St. Just in Roseland today and we're going to have a wander around the grounds of the church, which is one of the most visited churches in the country and we'll take you with us. Let's go and see what we can see. Right there. St. Just in Roseland. That's the spot of Cornwall there that we're just above. So you've got St. Moore's, St. Moore's Castle around there. And we're in here by the creek. Now you know. Well, I have to say, this is some of the biggest rhubarb I've seen in my life. <laughs> it's probably not rhubarb. <laughs> Make a decent pie if it was. Well, do you know the best thing I like about here? What's that? that? There's no phone signal, right? Yeah. But if there's an emergency, you can get out alive. Do you know how? No. Well, you get out of one of these. Mm-hmm. And you fern home. No. Mm -hmm. through this very impressive lich gate. Goes down towards the holy well, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Not only is this one of the most visited churches in England, it is rumored that Joseph of Arimathea brought his nephew here, Jesus, and landed here in St. Just. Make of that what you will. But what a spot to land if you're going to.
right, we're just going to wander up to what is said to be the Holy Well. And we know this because it says there. <laughs> right, let's give you a little look at this little path because this is a gorgeous little place. The church here in St Just dates from the 13th century and is built on the site of a Celtic chapel that was here from the 6th century and was dedicated to St Just in 1261. So we're talking pretty old here. really is stunningly beautiful. I can't think of any words to describe it really. No wonder it's the most visited church. Really, really is stunning. What a setting. just a wonderful example of a Celtic cross and it is said that there was a Celtic chapel here in the 6th century so I don't know whether that's been here since then but it is maybe a little remnant of it this is the shot that everybody comes up this little bit to take stunning in the church and around we're just gonna have a little walk around some of the grounds now and we're gonna head over towards 
I think is like a boat yard along the creek here, but it's still beautiful. So let's go and have a look down here. Very narrow path with loads of tree roots and stones and stuff, so you've got to be a bit careful. But if you walk this way towards the creek, it's well worth it because you get views like that. Absolutely stunning. So we're going to walk along a bit further and see where it goes. There's some kind of boat house here, by the look of it. So we're going to have a look at that because everybody likes looking at boats. a little walk down the creek so you could just see Falmouth there in the background but I'll tell you what I'll do we'll throw the bird up again shall we and uh, see if we can get you some decent pictures V's Cafe and get a fantastic cup of tea and a bit of lunch. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good, right? Wow. Well, I think we'll leave you there. We'll sit here for a few minutes and chill out. That was absolutely stunning. What did you think? Yep, absolutely gorgeous little place. Beautiful, isn't it? Nice bit of history about that church. Nice atmosphere in there as well, I thought. It was, um, yeah, really nice. The grounds are just cared for brilliantly, perfect. If you're in the area, on the Roseland Peninsula, Saint Just in Roseland. Definitely worth a visit. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one. Say goodbye, Kim. Goodbye, Kim. Goodbye, Kim. <laughs>